This is a brief lesson on the preparation and use of push-dose pressors for hemodynamic instability. In general, the idea is you're going to take a high concentration of a drug and you're going to put it into a 10 mil syringe where one mil is a good starting dose in taking care of a patient or some form of instability. You'll use these drugs to get through some hard times, say some peri-intubation hypotension, or you know perhaps you see kind of an early allergic reaction or there's some kind of temporary dip in blood pressure. Or also if you're kind of in for a longer haul and you're gonna be giving the patient some drips of vasopressors, these actually buy you time and help you keep the blood pressure normal while you're working on some of those other interventions. So in general, um, the medicines that we'll talk about are epinephrine, phenylephrine, and vasopressin. So epinephrine is an inoconstrictor, and so if you need both alpha and beta effects, say you see the heart looks a little sluggish on echo, epinephrine's the way to go. If you just have garden variety hypotension, you're not really sure, and you've got plenty of heart rate, and you think the heart's working okay, phenylephrine is totally appropriate. If patient's resistant to alpha agonists, and you're going through a lot of phenylephrine, or you're just kind of looking for another mechanism to balance things out, is a great drug of choice. Um, in fact, a lot of times catecholamine receptors are desensitized in sepsis, and in the patient it can be typically only responsive to vasopressin in the concentrations that we're talking about. So these are the basic tools. You're going to use a TB syringe to draw up a high dose of drug, and you're going to put it into 10 mils of um, saline, LR, whatever you can get your hands on. Um, Pre-filled syringes are easily obviously the easiest ones to work with, but sometimes you just have to put a needle on the end, stab into a sterile bag of fluids, pull out 10 mils, or sometimes you can see these green and or um, pink pop-top caps of 10 mils of um, saline, and you can fill your syringe from that. These are the pressors, which are incredibly standard concentrations across the U.S. Epinephrine comes in one mil, one mig in one mil. That's the small bullet you're looking at here. Um, vasopressin comes in 20 units per vial, again in one milliliter, and phenylephrine has 10 milligrams in a one mil vial. So let's start with epinephrine. So because this is one milligram, that is the same thing as um, 1,000 micrograms. So if you take a tenth of that, which is 100 micrograms, so just like 0.1 mils in this TB syringe, and you put that 100 micrograms in your 10 mils of saline, you're gonna have a concentration of 10 mics per mil. And one milliliter or 10 micrograms is a great entry level um, dose of epinephrine for patients with a spontaneous circulation. In an analogous manner, phenylephrine um, has 10 milligrams in each one of these vials. And so one milligram is gonna be a tenth of that. So one milligram is the same as a thousand micrograms. So you're gonna take that thousand micrograms and you're gonna put it into 10 mils of saline. And now you're gonna have 100 micrograms per mil. And again, 100 micrograms is a good entry level dose for um, phenylephrine. Vasopressin comes in units, not micrograms etc. Um, a vial is 20 units. And so if you take half of one of these vials, that's going to be 10 units. And 10 units diluted further in 10 mils of saline is going to give you one unit per mil. And one unit is a good entry level dose to um, support somebody's circulation. So for all of these drugs, um, they usually are active within about one minute, and depending on the degree of circulatory collapse you're looking at, they will last anywhere between two, three, to five minutes apiece. Um, and again, if whatever situation that caused the hypotension is stabilizing, maybe you only need a little bit of this. Who knows? Sometimes you have to repeat doses, and sometimes you have to add extra doses to get the effect that you're after. The only caution is if you um, know that the patient has a very low cardiac output, either from a cardiomyopathy or even pulmonary hypertension. Um, 
be really, really careful with stacking up doses. It just takes a long time for your initial dose to circulate, and often that's totally fine and all the patient needs. Uh, and because sometimes you're just looking at this patient who continues to be hypotensive, you keep adding more and more on, and then all those stacked doses kick in, and then you've got a real mess on your hands. So be really cautious about that in situations where you know the cardiac output is low. And so finally, epinephrine comes in another flavor. This is a code dose epinephrine, where instead of one milligram in that little bullet, you have it in 10 mils of a solution here. And so if this is all you've got, sometimes what you have to do is pull one milliliter, not 0.1, but one milliliter from this. That's going to be 100 micrograms, and you're going to add that to nine mils of your saline to get that working concentration that you're after. So that's basically it. Go out there and be safe.